What I'm really here for is that famous, famous Jolly Spaghetti. Let's go ahead and give it a try. This is going to be my genuine reaction. I've never tried it before. I am here in beautiful area called BGC and I am here to try something. It's a little bit of a religion. It's called Jollibee. Apparently it's one of the most famous takeaway shops here in Manila. We are here, of course, in the beautiful SM Aura. Look at this beautiful building. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but as you can see, it wraps around all the way and it goes all the way up. Really nice, beautiful architecture. And as you see, the decorations of the floor, the little trees, the lights, the art installation. They put a lot of effort into here. And just as with the rest of the malls here in Manila and BGC specifically, honestly, I am super shocked by how modern and how new these malls are. They have a beautiful water slide, so I guess if the escalator stops working, you can just jump on top and slide all the way down. <laughs> Obviously, I am joking, it's just here for an art installation, but it feels really, really nice. We've got a nice little uh, breeze going on top of it, so it's nice and cooling. Also, it looks amazing, look at that. Look at even the stairs, they put so much effort, so much effort into the art as well. So we came here in SM Aura and unfortunately we came all the way to the top, but it's not that unfortunate because here we have a beautiful art installation. We have some more water fountains over here and you got this massive, uh, what would you call this? A sheep, I think it's a sheep or maybe a cow, I'm not really sure. But as you can see it is massive and again the beautiful contrast between the lights, between the fountain, between the art installation, it's really really cool and on top of all of that you got a church over there so it's really nice and peaceful we got a nice contrast between everything and it's not as hectic as the other malls we've been to this one is nice and chilled out and it feels very very up class but again what we are here for is to come and try some Jollibee there's that beautiful site uh, not Harry unfortunately it is the Jollibee behind them Aww. have you tried Jollibee before Harry? never tried Jollibee it's, uh, first time and I've heard incredible things so I'm really excited is it supposed to be like a, is that a bee? I think so. I think Jolly is happy bee. Ah. Jolly bee. I think it's a happy bee. That's it does look very, very happy. It looks so happy. He's, yeah. looking, he's looking directly at me. <laughs> I'm kind of scared of it. <laughs> so guys, uh, honestly, I have no idea what to try here. But from looking at the menu, from looking at reviews online, I think the Jolly Spaghetti is one of the most famous things over here. And obviously, they are also known for their fried chicken. Supposedly, it is better than KFC. Is that correct? Ten times better, bro. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, they, they have done studies, you know. <laughs> it's science. science. Uh, I need those references, Danny. <laughs> Look in the comments of your videos, bro. They'll be there. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and try it. So we're gonna go ahead and order. But my God, there's a lot on that menu. As you can see, there's a family meal. There's uh, fried chicken. There's rice. There's also spaghetti. So I can those spaghetti are the ones that we're gonna be trying. Also, there's burger steaks. There's desserts. There's burgers, there's cheeseburgers, there's literally every single thing that you could ask for over here. So I think what I'm going to be going for, of course, is that spaghetti and that fried chicken. It's my turn to order. Hello. How are you? I'm good, sir. What is the recommendation here? What is the recommendation? What is the best thing to get? Um, chicken, sir. Ah, chicken. Okay, can I get one chicken and one spaghetti? What's your drink, sir? Uh, can I get a uh, Nestle? Or dine in. Dine in, yes, please. Spicy original, sir. Sorry? Spicy original. Uh, okay, uh, spicy. spicy. Let's try spicy. Drink, sir. Uh, can I get iced tea? Iced, iced tea, Any yes. Additional, sir? Uh, no, that will do. 138 pesos. Sorry? 138. I can't hear you. Total of 138 pesos. I still can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> What? 138 oh, <laughs> Guys, I'm getting old. Even my hair, my ear is going, my hair is going. <laughs> I thought you said it's for free. <laughs> Obviously, it's not for free. <laughs> okay, salamat po. Salamat. This is my one? Okay. And Okay. What? Will the robot bring my food? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, yes, please. Thank you. Oh, yeah. So there you go. So there's my order. I got my buzzer. And something which I didn't explain to you guys. The reason we came here to the very, very modern mall of SM Aura. We have these beautiful robots over here. So these robots, they put the plates over here. And that robot will literally come and deliver your food wherever you are. I'm going to go ahead and find Harry. Harry's over there. 
So apparently that robot is gonna come and find us somehow. So this is the bog stick that we have. I think somehow the robot is gonna come and find me. I'm gonna hide it, see if that robot is clever enough to come and find me. Did you know there's robots that will come and serve you over here? No, well, I had a feeling that there was gonna be because this is like the flagship one. Yeah. But that, I've just seen them and I nearly saw one of them run over another guy. <laughs> <laughs> the killer robots. <laughs> you gotta put your thing here. Oh, yeah? I see, okay. So if you hide it, then they won't find it, right? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Confuse the robots. So how does it work? If there's two orders, do you just put them on top of each other? I think so, yeah. Wow, look at that. They thought they literally thought of everything. They could just st stack them on top of each other. Harry's order is number 13 and my one is 27. So unfortunately, the place that we sat in, uh, the jolly robot is too fat, so they can't hunt it over there. So we are moving all the way to the other side. That way the robot can make it all the way to us. So it's order 42. Okay, salamat po, salamat. And there you go, we are now sitting on table number 42. Wow, this is really clever, man. There's the robot going. Oh, oh, is he coming for us? No. Is that for us? Table 42, there you go. <laughs> right. So, how does this work? Does the robot... Is this my one? How do you know which one is yours? I think this is my one. Yes. All right. So let's go ahead and give that a go. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there you go. There is the Jolly Bot over here. Hi. Here's your meal. Oh, is that what you got as well? There you go. Harry's got his uh, order as well. Oh, wow. There you go. Jolly Bot just... Uh, she's gone. She's gone. Wait. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't run over. Oh, is he going to run over? Oh. Oh, oh, that was close. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> that is cool, man. That is the future. Now that the robot is a distant memory of mine, we replaced them with Danny, of course. This is a robot. And here we go. Now we have the beautiful looking fried chicken. To be honest with you, I am not used to a fried chicken looking like this. Usually it's much more golden, much more crispy. So I'm not sure if it's just different herbs, different spices or different way of cooking it. And of course here we have the iced tea and a little bit of gravy. But of course what I'm really here for is that famous, famous jolly spaghetti. So let's go ahead and give it a try. I reckon we get a spoon with a little bit of everything. First impressions. Uh, Usually I like my spaghetti to be mixed, to be honest with you. I don't like my spaghetti to be uh, boiled by itself and then the sauce on top of it and then the cheese on top of it. I like it to be mixed and cooked in the same uh, pot. That way the flavor really, really infuses into the spaghetti. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and try it anyway. Let's get a big spoon of everything. That's a massive spoon. It smells a little bit spicy and a little bit um, sweet. But let's go ahead and give it a try. This is going to be my genuine reaction. I've never tried it before. Uh, it's all right. It's uh, definitely sweet. I think that's the only main uh, flavor that I'm getting. It's not spicy, I was expecting it to be a little bit spicy. It's not that flavorful, again, if I am honest. It's just a little bit cheesy, a little bit sweet, but it's all right. Uh, I mean, I'd happily eat all of it, but would I order again? Honestly, probably not. This, this is not my favorite thing to eat. I like this. As you can see, it is nice and steamy. Wow, look at that, off the bone, nice and crunchy under my hand. Let's go ahead and give this one a go as well. Mm. Wow, okay. That is nice. Again, the spaghetti, I would say it's mediocre. This is really nice. So there was two options uh, when it comes to the chicken. There's a regular version and there's a spicy version. I definitely recommend you get in the spicy version. I don't usually eat spicy food, it's too hot for me. But this gives it a nice kick, a nice little flavor. Mm. This is actually good, man. Nice and succulent, there you go. Nice bits of uh, white meat. A nice little bit of a drumstick. 
And let's get a little bit of uh, that gravy on top of it. This is, of course, the famous Jollibee gravy. Look at that. <laughs> It's drowsed in gravy, man. Let's give this a try as well. Yeah. This chicken is good, man. This chicken is good. How does it compare with KFC? Honestly, I would say this is on par with KFC. I've had very good KFC before. I've had very bad KFC before. I think this is at the top end when it comes to chicken. And again, Wash it all down with a little bit of uh, iced tea. Nice, that is delicious. All right, Danny, uh, go ahead and try the spaghetti, please. You've never tried this before as well, either, right? No, bro. All right, so you're gonna get another general reaction over here. He's processing the flavors. <laughs> He's looking a bit uh, shaky, to say the least. <clears throat> Honestly, I don't even feel like it's that sweet. Just like a certain type of... Sometimes I go to the grocery store and I want to get ketchup. But I kind of like get a little bit of a different sauce, you know? And I'm like, ah, it's not really ketchup, you know? Uh, so yeah. the sauce just it's a little bit, um, just different. Uh, sausages remind me of my ch childhood. I was eating that in the Eastern Bloc. I mean, honestly, it's probably the worst spaghetti I've ever had. <laughs> It's not really spaghetti, man. He's trying it's trying to think of a way to be polite. It's just a different dish. It's a different dish. <clears throat> so I guess the answer no, is my so next hungry. question. but I'm so hungry. I still like it, bro. Yeah? Yeah. Well, the answer is my next question. I was going to ask you if you would order it again. I didn't order. You ordered. <laughs> <laughs> that is a polite no. I eat the leftover of the boys all the time. <laughs> they film the videos. I'm like, F I rarely have fried chicken like ever. <clears throat> Usually when I had it, it was more dry. Super juicy. Fell a bit into the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is good, man. So, guys, that whole meal cost me about, I think, two dollars and seventy-five cents. I reckon it's a very, very good value. Obviously, you got a little bit of spaghetti, a nice little uh, chicken thigh, a little bit of gravy, and of course, that beautiful iced tea. For me personally, I didn't like the spaghetti. I think it is. Average, maybe five out of ten. If I'm being very, very brutally honest, obviously this is a food review, so I'm being a little bit more critical than usual. But the chicken, though, honestly, that is very, very delicious. I would give it maybe an eight and a half. It's kind of up there with the best uh, sort of fried chicken I had, kind of KFC. Much better than the fried chicken at McDonald's. So I'm very, very happy with the chicken. Definitely the spicy chicken is the way to go. So I'm definitely gonna be coming back here again. All right, and now that I finished my meal, I am very, very hungry still. So I'm gonna go ahead and try one of the desserts. Apparently, they have some of the best desserts over here. It's called a buku pie. I'm not sure what's inside it, but it looks nice and crunchy, and there's some sort of jam inside it. So let's go ahead and try it. Hello? Hello? Hello, I'm back. <laughs> Uh, can I please try one of your boko pies? Choco. Boko pie? Uh, peach mango pie or boko pie? Which one is nicer? Peach mango pie, sir. Okay, can I go for one, please? Uh -huh. So That's it good. is, I'm not sure what it's called, boko mango or just mango pie? Yes, please, just one. Thank you, that was nice and quick. So that pie is about 35 cents, which is, it's less than a dollar, it's about 80 dollars, uh, 80 cents, something like that. Thank you so much, Thank that was nice and quick. There you go guys, I have my beautiful pie right in front of me. As you can see, it is nice and oily, and what I really like about it, I don't know if you can hear that, it is nice and crusty. There you go, nice and flaky, nice and warm as well. So let's go ahead and try it open. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this is like a, a lava of mango. Oh wow, look at this. Wow, beautiful looking colors, nice and saucy. It looks super nice and sweet. I can think this is gonna taste delicious. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Wow. Yeah, that is mango, that is mango. Okay. Jollibee, you, you redeemed yourself. Spaghetti was here, chicken was here. But that pie is up here, man. That is delicious. There you go, it's got like a, a nice little bit of a I don't know what you call it, some sort of jam, a little bit more watery than a jam, but the consistency goes very, very well. 
with that crusty outer shell in. Mm. It's nice and warm as well. Honestly, this is delicious and it goes very, very well with some of that beautiful iced tea. Oh, yeah. Delicious. The robot is just standing here doing a nice little lap of the place. There you go. Go right there, love. <laughs> So while the robot is doing this round, we're going to try and see if the robot is going to be running me over. That is such a clever robot, huh? It didn't run me over, it just swept all around me and it went back to his face. Really, really cool. So, so as I was making my video, I just see the corner of my eye, there's people laughing and joking. Oh, you got my man locked up. What's going on? They locked it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Paul. <laughs> the locked man, man over there, he's outside. <laughs> you locked him out? <laughs> it's my first day here at work. <laughs> oh, he's serious. Oh, wow. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, so uh, how do you operate this thing? So, uh, you, could, uh, you punch the server, and if the, um, the order is complete, sir, you punch uh -huh. the server. And you call the answer. Uh, oh, wow. It's, the a, number. it's a very complicated system, huh? That's sir, if you. Uh, you are clever like you Yes, are. sir. <laughs> okay, brother. Okay, salamat Thank po. You, nice to meet Thank you. Thank you, sir. Come again. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, salamat po. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> awesome. Really, really nice place over here, man. Goodbye, Jollibee, my friend. It's been very good seeing you. And honestly, that food was really good. Again, spaghetti is not my favorite. That chicken was very good. And that poco pie was amazing. All right, guys, that brings me to the end of the meal and to the end of the video. That was a very fun, adventurous day today. Even though all we did was try Jollibee, for me, that was an experience. I've never had Jollibee before here in the Philippines. Today was my first time, and it was a good experience. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. If you are enjoying the content that I am making here in the Philippines, please do subscribe and follow. I'm making content from all over the Philippines. Comment down below where you want me to visit next, and I will go there, and I will see you in the next video. Salamat po.